The allure of the sandy beaches of Southern California is undeniable, perhaps especially so for African Americans living in the very segregated Los Angeles of the 1920s. So where are we now? Right now we're in front of the lifeguard station, which is on top of the property that my family used to own. This is it right here. This is it. Here was lodging, a cafe, and a dance hall, a black paradise developed by Anthony Bruce's great-great-grandparents, Willa and Charles Bruce. They were doing quite well for themselves, and unfortunately, uh, the community here, they thought, saw it as a threat. It was a time in America when people were proud of their prejudices, and the Ku Klux Klan seemed omnipresent. They were members of the police department, they were elected officials, so they were all over the place. Dr. Allison Rose Jefferson is an historian and author. She says the California Klan used laws instead of lynchings as a means of controlling their black neighbors. The Manhattan Beach residents that instituted this eminent domain proceeding in the 20s to take the land away from the Afri African American families there, it was done because of pure anti-black racism and white supremacist economic sabotage. Manhattan Beach claimed it needed the land for a park, paid the Bruces and others a pittance. And while there is a park there now, the land sat vacant for more than 30 years. When you're robbed of your dignity, when you're robbed of your integrity, when you're robbed of your decent basic rights as a human being and mistreated like that, I mean, it sticks with you for a long time. The Bruces were unable to buy any other land in Manhattan Beach and eventually settled in Florida. The resort was demolished. The person that was hurt the most from this was my grandfather, Bernard Bruce, um, because he was actually there. He knew Charles and Willa as his grandparents. And um, for him, I think it was extreme. He felt the prejudice. Thursday, though, on the very land the Bruce family was run off of, they were welcomed back. <laughs> Through a unanimous act of the California legislature, the land is being returned to them a bold act of reparation. I'm absolutely convinced this will be catalytic. It's once the mind's stretched, it never goes back to its original form. We're changing the dynamic of the debate in terms of righting wrongs. For now, the Bruce family wants to rent the lifeguard station back to the county. The property, though, likely worth millions of dollars. See, it's uh, reminiscent for me. But does the Bruce family want to come back to Manhattan Beach, a place that is more than 99% white? And my thing is, like, I believe if Anthony Bruce or anybody else in the Bruce family comes back here, we're going to see the same exact thing. I don't think it's changed, Harry. I think it's still here, and that's why we're not rushing to set up shop again. Chief Dwayne Yellowfeather Shepherd is part of the Bruce family tree. How does the quote go, the arc of history bends toward justice? justice. Does this feel like justice? Yes. We're getting to justice. This is the first step of what we have been demanding, and that was the restoration of the land to our family. Uh, from here, we want restitution from the city of Manhattan Beach for the loss of that generational wealth, and we want punitive damages for them colluding with the Ku Klux Klan to disenfranchise our family uh, of their human rights. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. We have just begun to fight. So interesting to be there yesterday, and there was a sense of celebration, but at the same time, a, a real melancholy people from the Bruce family thinking about what could have been and what should have been. Yeah. So many Bruce families all over this country, Harry Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, Harry, thank you. It's a fantastic story. We're going to have much more from our series, The Great Divide, coming up tonight on NBC Nightly News. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.